हेलो स्टूडेंट अ वार्म वेलकम इन आईसीएससी क्लास 8 मैं सौरव सन सो स्टूडेंट हियर वी सॉल्व चैप्टर नंबर 2 एक्सरसाइज एंड पार्ट ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 1a सॉरी 2a नाउ फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज एक्सरसाइज ओके व्हेन वी मल्टीप्लाई अ नंबर मेनी टाइम्स लाइक x x x if we multiply this number three times then its power one 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 are added so one plus one plus one or we add x to power three how much three so when a number is multiplied by itself n times we got x into x into x dot 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 n times so we got x to the power n here x is called base and n is called power here x is base and n is power ok students so first we discuss few rules of exponents like if there are two numbers which is in numerator and denominator form or in fraction form like p over q to power m then we can make a p to the power m over q to the power m in degree okay now this is our first rule or first formula of exponent if x to the power m into x to the power n and we got x to the power m plus n okay when same base number are in multiplication then their power will be added now if x to the power m divided by x to the power n we got x to the power m minus n okay if x to the power n to whole power n we can write it as x to the power m into n okay x over y to the power m equal to y over x to the power minus n if we revert the number the power become negative or power sign of power changes okay so x to the power 0 is one always like this like if we put 20 to the power 23 to the power 0 we got 1 ok if a base has power 0 then its value is always 1 now if actually power m equal to y to the power m if power are same and then we can compare their base therefore x equal to y if x to the power <coughs> m equal to x to the power n if base is same then we can compare their powers then m equal to n then if so these conditions are also followed while you are solving the exercise so student now we solve exercise 2a of class 8 ICSC mathematics so problems are this evaluate so first is 3 to the power minus 1 plus 9 to the power minus 1 whole divided by 3 to the power minus 2 so student you know that if power is negative then we inverse the number which is base number so this can be written as 1 upon 3 power become positive or you can write 1 power <coughs> or no so 1 upon 9 ok and this is 1 upon 3 square now 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 9 LCM is 9 so 3 3 is 9 plus 9 1 is 9 and divided by 3 to the power 2 3 3 is 9 now this is 4 upon 9 4 upon 9 
and multiplication a change in so division change in multiplication and we reverse this number so this is 9 upon 1 9 9 cents if we got 4 so answer of this question is 4 ok now we move to the second question second is 3 to the power minus 1 into 4 to the power minus 1 divided by 6 to the power minus 1 so first we inverse the base number which is 3 so 1 upon 3 into 1 upon 4 where power of the base is 1 plus 1 you can write it out now so, okay so divided by 1 upon 6 so this is 1 upon 12 division is changed into multiplication and this number is inverse so 6 to the 12 so we got 1 upon 2 and you can write it as 2 to the power minus 1 so answer this question is 2 to the power minus 1 or 1 upon 2 now we saw third part of this question which is 2 to the power minus 1 plus 3 to the power minus 1 over 3 so always now if x to the power minus 1 you can write it as 1 upon x this is formula here we use this so 2 to the power minus 1 we can write it as 1 upon 2 and 3 to the power minus 1 we can write it as 1 upon 3 2 to power 3 whole power 3 so LCM is 6 2 to the 6 and 3 to the 6 to the power 3 ok <coughs> so this is 5 over 6 to the power 3 and whole cube of 5 is 125 and whole cube of 6 is 216 ok so answer this question is 1 upon 25 125 over 216 now we solve the fourth part of this question which is 3 to the power minus 1 divisible by 4 to the power minus 1 to the whole power. So first we use x to the power minus 1 equal to 1 upon x. Therefore this is 1 upon 3 divided by 1 upon 4 to the power 2. Now we change sign of the multiplication of this number is reverse. Okay. So 4 upon 3 to the power 2 to 4 to the 16 and 3 to the 9. So this is the answer of this question. Okay, now we saw fifth part of this question which is 2 to the power 2 plus 3 to the power 2 into 1 upon 2 to the power 2. So then 2 to the power 2 means 2 into 2 which is 4 and 3 to the power means 3 into 3 which is 9 multiplied 1 upon 4. So this is 13 upon 4. 4 plus 9, this is 13 and divided by 4. So this is the answer of part 5th. Now we move to the 6th part, which is 5 to the power 2 minus 3 to the power 2 into 2 upon 3 to the power minus 3. Okay, so 5 to the power 2 means 5 into 5, which is 25 and 3 to the power 2 is 9 into we reverse this number so this becomes 2 of 3 upon 2 to the power 3 if we inverse the number or base number the power become positive or power sign of power is changed now this is 15 minus 6 which is 16 15 minus 9 25 minus 9 is 16 into 3 to the power 3 which is 27 and 2 to the power 3 is 8 8 to the 16, 2 into 27, we got 54. So answer this question is 54. Now second part of this question is 1 upon 4 to the power minus 3 minus 1 upon 3 to the power minus 3 divided by 1 upon 6 to the power minus 3. So student first we change the sign of the power. So we reverse this number, so 4 to the power 3 minus 3 to the power 3 
divided by 6 to the power 3. Okay. So this is cube of 4, 4, 4, yeah, 16, 16, 4, yeah, 64. Okay. 3, 3, yeah, 9, 9, 3, yeah, 27. Divided by 216. 6, 6, yeah, 36, 36, yeah, 216. So this is 14 minus 7, this is 7. And this is 5 minus 2, 3 in divided by 216. So we got 37 over 216. So answer this question is 37 over 216. Now we move to the 8th part of this question which is minus 3 over 4 to the power minus 2 to the power 2. So student, first we change the sign of this power base. So base is reverse. This is 4 upon 3 to the power 2. So this becomes 16 over 9 to the power 2 and 16 is 256 over 981. So answer this question is 256 over 81. Now, 9 part of this question is 3 over 5 to the power minus 2, 4 power 8 minus 2. So first we divide this to make the power positive. So this becomes 5 upon 3 to the power 2 and minus 2. So 5 by 25 over 9. Now we also reverse the base. So 9 upon 25 to the power 2 and we got 81 upon 625. So whole square of 9 is 81 and whole square of 25 is how much? 625. So the last part of this question is 5 to the power minus 1 into 3 to the power minus 1 divided by 6 to the power minus 1. So this is the 1 upon 5, this is 1 upon 3 and it's divided by 1 upon 6. Division change into multiplication. So this is what? 5 to the 15, 15, Sega 19. So this is one point nineteen. So students, I hope you got it. Thanks for watching.